With business demanding faster delivery of quality applications, the interest in DevOps is growing. However, unlike conventional frameworks, there is no DevOps standard definition, nor a blueprint or a roadmap. This can make it difficult for organizations to know where to start or how even to start. The truth is, DevOps isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. So before rushing headfirst into implementation, you should determine the outcomes you're trying to achieve. In other words, look beyond your technology lens to focus on your business needs. You'll find that by emphasizing business and customer value, it'll be easier to get people on board and engaged. So let's begin with a pilot project for a DevOps implementation. It's important to start small, but to think big. Choose a project where DevOps can help you achieve a specific business outcome and demonstrate value to the broader organization. For example, a brand new web or mobile development application that can be architected to benefit from the aspects of DevOps, including lean thinking, agile, and continuous delivery. Having the right people on board can also make or break your initiative. So consider involving people who work well in cross-functional teams and are willing to try new approaches and challenge traditional thinking. Remember that it might be necessary to change your organizational structure. One important but often neglected step is determining how DevOps is going to work with existing methodologies and functions such as ITIL, enterprise architecture, security, and compliance. Practitioners need to work together to determine how existing processes need to adapt to both support DevOps as well as benefit from it. Another critical step in DevOps implementation is developing the metrics. In most organizations, goals are developed in silos with focus on output-based metrics. For example, the number of problem tickets resolved or the lines of code that are produced. In your DevOps initiative, objectives must be shared at an organizational level and aligned to deliver business outcomes. Therefore, strong consideration should be given to new metrics focused on increasing business agility and improving customer experience. Finally, automation is critical. Without the right tool sets that remove constraints and orchestrate complex release workflows, it'll be difficult to scale DevOps beyond the pilot stage. Traditionally, tools have been selected to cater to one particular group or function. But with DevOps, you should choose tools that support the needs of many stakeholders. The tools should also facilitate fast feedback to drive improvements. For example, application performance management tools should enable developers to better detect code defects before production. Release automation tools should enable IT operations to streamline and improve production releases. One good approach is to start by identifying the biggest constraints in your software development processes. Look out for manual handoffs that increase the likelihood of human errors. Another common constraint is restricted access to realistic test environments and unpolluted test data. As you solve specific problems within the software lifecycle, ensure that all automated workflows can be linked so that you can speed delivery and improve quality. And finally, always remember that DevOps shouldn't be restricted to isolated projects. DevOps success will come from treating it as a continuous improvement program.